so what I'm going to show you guys today is what I said in the last video. I could not tell you what it was because I wanted it and I wanted a shot because you know how people are as soon as they find out that you want it and they're from your area and they are subscribers to your channel and they know where this place is, um, they will purposely go and buy it before you could get there. So I got this. So I did do some cleaning on it. I took a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser on there and cleaned her up really good. Just, I, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there is a mark on the bottom there that says made in Japan. So they said this is antique. I don't think it's from the 1800s based on what Dr. Lori Verderan says on her YouTube channel. If you watch her channel, she would say it would have to be in the early part of probably the 1900s that they started and to put on their made in. So I think this is an early 1900s piece. And I'm just saying based on what she would say on her channel. So. Um. I will admit this right now with this closing vase. Um. That it is. One thing I've noticed where there is so many different values on this. So I paid about $61.19 for this, um, $61.19 for this closing antique vase with, if you guys can see, the handles look like peacocks. Um that this face that it's anywhere between um some people and this isn't sold mind you so this is hopes and wants we'll say with what people are asking for that i've seen not appraised value okay just to put that out there um this cuisine face so it's anywhere between $328 plus shipping. And some people are asking for over $1,000 for this closing vase. But here's the catch. They said this came in a pair. Now, when I seen this in, at the Shed Antique Store, this was not, there was not, Another one exactly like this there. It was just this guy there for sale. Just so you guys know. So. And some said nothing about this. Um, coming with uh, another vase. Another big vase. So. Um. And I I think she cleaned up very good. She is pretty heavy. And I'll show you. I didn't notice this till I got to the car after paying for it. The bottom's a little wobbly. <laughs> so you're not really going to want to put water in this or anything. This is more of just a vase just to look at. Um... I say this is a big, a big one. It's metal. Um, they showed there was some other versions, but the handles typically looked like uh, an animal. I did found a matchy match to this and online, and, and that's how I know it's Google Lens. And, yeah. So, um, 
Did I do good or not? I don't know. I'll admit that. Okay. <laughs> so. I had to do some thinking, you know. So. Yeah. Because it's like. This face is very ornate. So this is Asian, but it is made in Japan, obviously. There is another version of this made in China, made in a later part of the, <coughs> I think they said online made in the 19th century. So that would be the 1800s, but that whole bottom, like I said, is bare, bare metal on that one. There's no made in on that, on that, um, vase. And, yeah. Because it showed uh, a pair. It wasn't the one with the peacocks for handles on there. It, I think the seller wanted $1,388. Hope and a wish and want. That's all, all I'm going to say. <laughs> that wasn't a sold comp. So. Yeah. <laughs> so I just hope you y'all kind of understand that. So. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content. And don't forget to like, comment, and share channel. So it would help. Get my channel up there to people I don't know about it yet. And as always, thank you for watching. Bye-bye now.